Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. Today I have a nine card spread here for you. This is going to be about Taylor Young. I already did one video about him about maybe a month ago. He was the boy that came missing in Houston. He was at an ATM machine and then disappeared from that point on. It wasn't really big in the news. I don't know why. You know, they make big deals out of some people that are missing and then some people not. I think everyone, it should be a big deal about everyone. But they did find, I did do a video on it and it did show that he um, was expired because I did get the Ten of Swords. It showed he was expired. So now I heard on the news that they found his body. It was in a trunk here in Dallas, Texas. The, the, the car had got repoed here in Dallas, Texas. And then a few days later, when they opened the trunk, they found this body in it. Okay. So in my first video, I did say that he was um, ambushed, and then his body was put somewhere, and that he was expired. So that all of that did come true. Okay, so now we're going to ask um, his final thoughts and feelings, and basically what happened. All right. So don't forget, this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Um, don't forget this channel is my brand. You do not have permission to copy it. And for the stupid person that keeps coming on here, giving me a thumbs down, there's only, if y'all notice, there's only one thumbs down. And I know who it is because on my side, I can see who does it. All right, go away. No one's interested in you. You're, you're not happy with my readings. You don't have to come over here. Uh, if you're not interested in tarot, why do you click on it? Just, just buzz off, okay? That's my message to you before I make you buzz off, all right? Now, y'all, don't forget about my cup. Um, I did put an influence on here, so those who drink from it will get magic and love and health and good luck and money, all right? The link will be down below. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below, and I'll get back at you. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. Okay, so I asked them basically what happened. The very first card that came out was the devil. Okay, the devil's a card of addictions. Okay, so I'm seeing that somebody had addictions. I'm not saying it's him. I'm seeing that some somebody either around him or the people around him had addictions i'm feeling like he was ambushed because the people that did this were into drugs and they were trying to um steal money for drugs or something like that there's two scenarios here i'm not saying that he was involved in that um but i'm saying that these people were that were close to him or near him he might have even known them okay but it had to do with something about drugs all right so then for the next one, I did get the um, four of swords. I'm trying to get back from my camera because every time I get close to, close to the speaker, the speaker messes up. This is when someone's too tired to fight the battle. Okay, they don't, they, they couldn't go on anymore. I'm feeling that he had some problems that he didn't talk about in the past or to anybody. It could have been involved with these people. I'm kind of feeling that they, he knew these people. And that he just couldn't deal with them anymore or couldn't deal with some type of problem. So when you can't deal with stuff anymore, this is what you, the soldier does. He lays down, meditates. He see how he's praying, meditating. Because it can't, deal, it can't go on anymore to fight the battle. I'm seeing uh, the swords here, which could mean prison or mental imprisonment. And I kind of do feel like he's in his mind. I'm feeling this is more from the past and then also showing me now. Because I asked him where he was at. Did he cross over? Did he find the light? And I got the hangman in the reverse. Okay, so whenever I get the hangman in the upright, which is this way, that means I always get this when someone passes away. Uh, it means that they've crossed over and they've reached the light. Well, it's in the reverse, so that means that he has not come to the light. I am hearing that he is in stagnation because he wants his murder solved. He wants this case solved. So he is in stagnation until this this ha this happens until they find out who did this to him so he is more earthbound than anything he's in stagnation because again we have the crossroads here lots of turbulence another card of stagnation can't cross either way can't go over these two fell out together this represents a lot of stagnation the hangman in the reverse and then the two of swords in the upright 
the water in the background represents lots of turbulence to see how it's not small in his mind and his thoughts so he most definitely wants justice for what he's done to him but he wants the truth to come out he wants people to know what happened to him so he's not going anywhere he's in stagnation just standing still meaning I, I don't believe he's crossed over yet and he's not near the light okay so people do need to pray for him that this gets resolved i asked who did this to him okay who did this to him so this is the same one i got in the other video when i asked who did this to him only it was in the upright then which means lots of turbulent uh lots of scattered energy people fighting and i do see a scuffle he did get carjacked he got carjacked by five people y'all there was five people in the car that pulled up to him or they were waiting around the corner for him or something to that effect they jacked him but he put up a fight and that's when his phone flew out into the bushes i am feeling more now like he threw it over there to leave evidence because now it's in the reverse so when it's in the reverse it means that there's um people people know what's going on now okay so so what this is saying in the reverse meaning that it's still the same type of energy but now you're going to know who it is the truth is going to come out there's going to be some evidence found again this seven of swords represents the same thing evidence coming out so these two fell together so the person that did this to the, him was very very sneaky they were they were this was an ambush this is what i'm saying that he might have known them but these people were doing this to everybody, not just him. They go around doing this type of crime. And so he was basically ambushed. He was already being watched. Okay. But here it shows that this is the thief. You see the thief is stealing stuff away. But in the reverse, he left evidence behind, right? The two swords represent, represent evidence behind. So in the reverse, it means that the evidence is going to come out. It's going to show. They're going to find out the truth of who these people were. Somewhere, somehow, there's a video clip or... Or surveillance camera or somebody saw something so evidence is going to come out to where they're going to find out who these people were now i asked him about himself and he's he's in his mind because he's like the magician in the reverse he wanted to manifest see this is the magician in the upright manifest in anything he wants to okay then when you get in the upright you can manifest anything you want to in life he was still young but now it's in the reverse for him because he's saying that he didn't get to manifest his life he didn't get to he wasn't finished yet he still had a whole lot to do why do i say that because here is the um seven let's see that's eight of pentacles this is a man that's still got a lot of work to do he's put in work but he's still working on these two so that means he's still got work to do so that's what he's saying with the magician um in the reverse that he didn't he wasn't done that's why he's in stagnation see it fell underneath these two cards of stagnation he wasn't finished with his life he doesn't want to go he doesn't want to cross over he's still on the earth plane he's still roaming around because he doesn't he was not ready to go this was his life he's saying he wasn't ready to go so he's in stagnation he said he's got had a lot of work that he wanted to finish he wanted to do for, for his life so where does that leave him okay that leaves him in the dark here's the hermit that goes up to think by himself but he's got the light to light his way okay so in the reverse it's the light goes out for the hermit he's truly in the dark he doesn't know where to go where to turn um can't think anymore just feels all alone and this is how he's feeling right now and he's showing me in these cards that he is alone he's in, he feels like he's in the dark he wasn't finished with his life he has so so much more to do he wants the truth to come out and the truth is coming out y'all they're going to find out who these people are because there's some evidence that somewhere that was left behind it, i'm thinking it's in a video clip and they're going to police are going to find it or see it or something like that but he's very angry and he's very very sad and he's very very depressed because he wants justice for himself and he wants truth to come out this is what i'm hearing um he's not gonna rest i'm hearing he's not gonna rest until there's justice for his name and also i'm hearing that it wasn't good that they didn't publicize this like they do other missing people okay he he's not happy that they didn't make this go you know nationwide like they do some other missing people and i don't understand why they do that because every missing person is important why did they only blow some up and then some it's like no one ever knows about you know he's important too is what he's saying i'm hearing that right now that he's important too so why didn't it blow up in the news like other people's do 
So that is depressing him. He's depressed about that. He's angry. He's sad. And he's standing still. He's not moving backwards or forwards. He's in stagnation because he wants justice first. He wants justice for what happened to him, what they did to him. And that way he can move towards the light. So everybody needs to pray for him. And, you know, pray that they also catch these people and the truth does come out. Because that's the only thing I feel like that's going to make him cross over is once the truth comes out. And he, and he gets some type of justice, y'all. But just like I said in my first video, I did get the Ten of Swords, meaning in the reverse meaning it was a, you know, he was gone. He was expired. He was deceased. And he, most definitely he is. Now, what happened was they when they ambushed him, he got hurt, okay? During the scuffle, he got hurt. So what they did was they put him in the trunk, okay? And, and in my last video, I said they tucked him somewhere. Okay, that's where they I thought at first they had put him in water. But now I'm seeing they put him in the trunk. And then they drove over here to Dallas. Because from Houston to Dallas is only four mile drive, four hour drive. Okay, you can get here real quick. And they abandoned the car somewhere. Okay, they abandoned it somewhere. And then it got towed. Because here there's a towing law. They tow you know, cars that are left on the side of the road or whatever. And th they took it to the tow place. Well, then finally, when they went through the car, looking through it, they found his body in the trunk. All right. And and it was his car. So not, car. So not only did they jack him, they also took his car. So he was put in the trunk of his own car. Now, that's a mess right there, y'all. That's terrible. All right, y'all. This is it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch my shorts videos, y'all. Please click on them. And to the stupid idiot that keeps coming on here, leaving a bad comment, uh, doing a thumbs down. Go away before I break your thumb. All right. I'm going to break your thumb. <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> all right, y'all. See you next time. Bye-bye.